Hi and welcome back YouTube. Here I have the commercial electric 24 inch drum fan. I owned this for about four to six hours. I just unboxed it and I gotta say so far I really like it. Uh, it was sitting right next to one that looked identical to it called the Max Air and I think possibly they're ordering them and putting their name on it. It's possible that this is a copy but I really don't think so. They look so, the, the fan blades are the same. Maybe there's a couple pieces that are different. From what I can tell, it was the same thing sitting next to each other, like they were a replacement for the same model. But anyway, um, I just wanted to show it running because so far on YouTube, I haven't seen anyone turn it on. The Max Air has a few videos, so that's nice. But this is on low. To demonstrate the, um, the velocity of the air, I have this tape. This is just eBay tape. So it seems to be working pretty good. And then if I were to go ahead and turn it on high, things start falling down. It's actually a little bit loud on high. I'm not sure how many decibels, but I'm thinking, I don't even want to take a guess, but I think more than 60. It's more than like a conversation. If I put the mic down here. But these, these are metal blades, so. So it's got my, um, tape twisted around pretty good but I can tell you the uh, the high setting is quite a bit more air quite a bit more air than the low setting and a lot more noise okay so that was off so uh, there's a three position switch on the back Switch is right here on the back. So the things that I like about it are the swivel feature. There are a few reasons why a person might want to have their fan like that. For me, I can actually use that. And then um, it's nice because you can tighten it down. So it ends up being like a fan table. Or if you want to point it like this, so it goes up overhead and isn't pointing directly at anyone. That's nice too but all those options are on the table with this. And then you tighten it and it doesn't move around. We had another one, this Lasco, I think it was. It was a good fan. What I did is I took it apart to clean it and then it wouldn't go back together right. And then the front part hit the blades and it blew up. But this thing it had the same feature, but I don't know, it would move around a lot. So what's nice is the um, the box is big enough to throw that one away. And now this big industrial metal unit is taking its place. Now this was $120 plus tax. The Max Air is $130. It was sitting right next to it looking identical. So that would have been closer to $150 out the door. So I feel like I did good with this. Yes, I do like the Max Air. I wish someone would make the label I could put it on there. I guess I would have paid 10 bucks for it. But um, at the time of, of purchase, I didn't think about it too much. It's, it's neat. I like it. I like the brand. But this one's commercial electric, and it's actually, I think, possibly made in the same factory. But I don't know. So anyway, that's it. As far as I can tell, it's going to hold up. 
you'll see in the comments if it blows up, if it smokes out, if it stops working, if the switch breaks, I'll be sure to update the video. But um, just one more time to put it on high. So, so far, do I think it blows? Yes or no? In a good way that I can see. Anyway, that's all for this video. If you like this video, like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Also, while I have your attention, I wanted to invite you to shop at my eBay store, GB Hatchery. I'll leave a link in the description. Also, a link to my affiliate, Seller Warehouse. You can shop at their store as well. Thanks for watching the video, and if you like these big fans, Go ahead and buy one.